October 24th, The Half-Hearted Plea. Have you ever made a promise to someone with your fingers crossed behind your back? No one seems to know how this practice started, but somewhere throughout history, we began to think that crossing our fingers when telling a lie or making a promise we never intended to keep provides some sort of loophole. Even if you wanted to keep your word but didn't know if you could, just cross your fingers and you're no longer liable, so they say. But how many promises have you made to God like this? How many times have you cried out to Him asking Him for help while secretly holding back just in case you changed your mind? This is precisely what Janet did with her alcohol addiction. It was a battle both she and her husband fought. But she's here to tell us more as she shares with us her true story on this Unshackled Daily Devotional. We married just before World War II started. Monty served in the Navy and afterward took a job as a technical writer in Toledo, Ohio, while I started a laundry business in our neighborhood. During the years that followed, our drinking increased even though we joined a church. To celebrate our 25th wedding anniversary, we sailed from New York to Cape Town on a freighter. Friends sent us off with a case of champagne and several bottles of whiskey, although most of the other passengers were missionaries. I knew we were drinking to excess when Monty's hands began to shake. After he lost his job, he drank even more, hiding bottles around the house. Just as my business began to slump, he found another job, but he started each day with a couple of drinks. I cried out to God, asking him to save me one day, but I continued having cocktails. One night while I was working late, a neighbor called to say Monty was drunk and stuck in the snow outside our house. His behavior was so erratic that I took him to the doctor who had me admit Monty to an alcohol rehab hospital. He came home completely dried out, leaving me to drink alone. I suddenly realized I was an alcoholic too and asked the Lord to set me free. He did. Then I went to a women's retreat where I was born again. My husband also prayed for salvation that fall. God even steadied Monty's shaking hands. Our final years with Christ and without alcohol were the happiest years of our life together. King David says in Psalm chapter 51, verse 17, The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Friend, God wants to help us, and He will if we'll empty ourselves completely before Him. If we ask for His help while still holding on to our own desires and feeble strength, we will fail. Because this is nothing more than a half-hearted plea, a fingers-crossed commitment. Rather, it takes our complete surrender to respond to His transforming power. Will you receive this truth today? Unshackled, the longest-running audio drama in history, airs on over 3,000 radio stations worldwide. Real people, real-life stories, and the hope that changes everything. This award-winning program grips the heart with compelling and relevant stories of transformed lives. Without Jesus Christ, we are all shackled by sin, by our wrong choices, disobedience, and selfish motives. But God is at work and the power of Christ sets us free of our bondage. Listen to a new devotional every day, and don't forget to tell your friends about Unshackled Daily Devotionals.